Hello everyone, this is Reed Lily for you back again with another edition of What's on Kickstarter. So let's check it out. There's actually a bit more of these stuff than I was expecting. Uh, Cinemats and the Polar playing cards. Like this, uh, designed by Randy Butterfield, has a new borderless deck. Uh, I guess we have it quickly. It's obviously pretty well funded. 15 days still to go. See the main two, which I have reviewed full text on my channel of. And then there's this new board that was designed by, I guess, probably the man. I did see a lot of comments supporting that idea on the United Cardist last I checked. And it's a slightly different color scheme, but it's the same style as pretty much the cover deck here on the right. So, pretty cool. Someone did this in only a thousand, uh, thousand photos decks being produced. And that is that. Let's see if I got one out. What else is new? Um, I know we messed up. Sanctum Playing Cards by Dick Jackson. 42% product on the video, let's see what this is all about. I haven't seen it before until now. It's a pretty nice craft design. Gothic architecture, definitely. Reasonable goal. I need to do a thousand decks. <laughs> Nine dollars US for one deck, that's a really good price. And we put it by expert playing cards. He's got it all pretty well sealed out. Tough case is not. Yeah, it's not overly exciting, but it's not bad. And the cards themselves, fairly standard. He's recolored the clubs and the spades in that greenish color. And uh, he's recolored the court cards a bit. He's got them on a gray background. The, the aces are apparently top secret. Why, I'm not sure. Ha! Ah, there's an ace of diamonds, though. So much for the top secretness. I guess he's swaying them off from time to time. Uh, they're an expert playing card company, court cards, which is standard. We've modified the pips a bit. Nothing overly exciting. You don't have to get this limited this in wrapped deck. Skulls not included. Thanks for pointing it out. Um, that is that. It's you know he's put his, in his research and his effort. It's not a bad deck. What I might pick up later on if it funds. Being the big question. Lit playing cards by Dudes playing cards. I don't know what kind of name that is. It's funded. 25 days to go. 2500 decks being produced as a premium deck, and that's the back design. But I will tell you this one, that kind of reminds me of the logo of Seasons playing cards. Just a shame, but I get it. It is a imitation of the uh, wind playing cards, wind casino playing cards, basically. That's why it's funded. It's a black rose. Very minimalist, standard faces. <sighs> also reminds me, and it's kind of a rip off of black rose playing cards. Just saying. Not the bad design, but I mean the, the rose thing. It's. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> oh wow. You can get a lanyard. Yay. There's also strippers available. There's a stretch goal for this black lit full foil. They may hit. Uh, it's doing okay. May hit that. It 
Then there's the woman cards. Girl power. Designed by a guy, Zach Wallace. Zach Wallace. Uh, it is well funded. 26 days to go has been very well. The problem I have is there's already been a deck called the woman cards in the past. It's already been done before. So it seems kind of like, you know, ripping off. I'm not sure who this girl is. I'm not sure who most of these people are, sir. Um, information about custom design tough box. I'm working with a high end manufacturer to print the cards. They anticipate, that's the problem, they anticipate beginning to manufacture the cards in time to ship the cards in mid-November to arrive around Thanksgiving for domestic orders in mid-December for international orders. The problem is, this project does not end funding-wise until November. There's no way it's going to be produced in two weeks, depending on who they're producing it with. Um, I guess oh, I guess this is by the same person who created the previous woman's cards. It is, so that, that's fine. But um, it's fine. They're doing a, a follow-up. I wonder if it's already funded. It's the Girl Power version. They're not showing as much like the indexes or the back design, which is disappointing. But good for them. Paisley playing cards has a hidden market system apparently by Diamond playing cards. It's 65% funded, 13 days to go. Not a very long project, that's for sure. Um, mm -hmm. The fourth project, of course, is another Diamond playing cards. So I've not been a fan of this one. I looked at it, I looked at that bat design, it reminds me of a deck of point cards from Vanishing Ink. I forgot what it was called exactly, but Vanishing Ink did a deck pretty much the same exact bat design. It's kind of a rip off, in my opinion. Blue one, interesting blue color. Standard faces. Modified Ace and Jokers. The marking system. Being printed by the SBC, plus the stock. Eight euros for one deck is not a bad price. Sipping though almost doubles it. So let's go for a French blue paisley deck as well. That's it. Interesting. I would suspect they're going to fund, but who knows? We'll see. It's not a bad deck. And. Another Rose deck, Rose Point Guards by Nicholas L. 62% funded, 25 days to go. If it would open, that would be great. Oh, are you kidding me? Please don't tell me I have any internet problems. <laughs> um, the stem, I see the font, the, the stem of ideas, blossom of those playing cards. I like that. Let's go there. Crisp and vibrant aesthetics for the cards. Definitely done with cardistry in, in mind. However, again, I look at this back design and I see 
the Memento Mori decks from Chris Ramsey. Just saying, what is with all these like copycat decks this week on Kickstarter? It's ridiculous. Um, I mean that corner thing, that's basically the skull from the Memento Mori deck. Standard faces, good gum drops, a lack of effort as well this week on all the projects. The standard faces, being produced by Hatch and Ted, go figure. I'll show you what I mean. See the skulls in the corner, as you, I'm sure you're familiar with. Basically the same thing. <laughs> um, the way I look at it, it seems like, I mean, it's the same style anyway. It's not a direct, complete rip-off. Um, oops. That. <laughs> Let's start with some fantasy and ink that I was thinking about. This one right here. The Paisley elements, it's got more color obviously, but it's very similar to that Paisley deck. So let's just show you that one again. It's a will, actually. That's not that far off, there we go. This is going from Vashini, the Dapper deck, that's what I was calling it, to remember. And the Paisley deck. Very similar. It's basically like they took the, the stuff and they put it in a blender and spit out a new design. But it's basically the same elements. Wow. Slightly different, but the same idea, basically. Not a lot of originality in playing Garden Cards this week, I would say. So far, anyway. <laughs> I won't talk to the actual deck of cards or not. I'll pass on there. It does say card deck, but it's pretty free cards, so whatever that is. <laughs> Technique signature disappointing cards like Christopher Severson. Funded 28 days to go. Not really my cup of tea. Oh good, so this here's the same, it's pretty much the same as the previous technique playing cards, which I might have shown off at some point in time on what's on deck, because it wasn't, I don't think they were on Kickstarter before, except it's in red, and there's a knife with a blood drip on it, not really my cup of tea, not overly excited, it's pretty lame really, in my opinion. The most interesting part is how they have these different colors in the borders on all the backs. So it creates an interesting fan. But it makes it a marked deck, basically. I assume that I'll identify the suit. I could be wrong. Let's see if it says that. <laughs> yeah, it's five different colors, let's see. Just to give you a different color for package shots and stuff like that. Ah, uh, well, he's modified the faces. He's removed the faces, basically, and blindfolded them for some reason. Recovered them a bit. He decided to don a blindfold himself. The ace of spades with that blood drip on the red pip, which is fine. The ad cards are. That. That's the ad card. That's the Joker. One is a great card. And that one sells black, middle, gray, and white. That's the ad cards. 
Now, instead of jokers, they have tools in them for to help you. And it's really like a great card to keep you, help you wipe your balance, help you wipe balance your cards before those individuals. Aha. Uh -huh. This is all about the card is through this deck, folks. <laughs> I really like cup of tea. There you got the bicycle grid blackout, which I mentioned was coming soon from PlayingCards.net and designed by Fort Game Designs, who used to run the in Prague 7.5, but they stopped. And it's a new version of the bicycle grid playing cards, black and white. Not bad. There's also UV light features, as you can see. Five thousand meat produced, so there's no reason to back on Kickstarter. I'll just get it later on. It does look really cool with the UV lights. That's nice. The custom pips and everything. Basically, it's just a new version of the grid point cards they've done before. It's nice. Sixteen bucks though for one deck is getting a bit pricey. I'll get it on Murphy's Magic for a little bit less. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> uh, and then there's the composition deck from Penguin Magic, which is 97% funded 27 days to go. And in case I didn't mention, the blackout is funded with 13 days to go. Um, and this one is not really my cup of tea. I actually seen uh, on Facebook somebody else basically designed a similar idea, and now they've had to put that away because Penguin Magic put this out. I don't know if they ripped them off or what the situation is. That's your back design. Mm, hard pass. That's just horrible. I don't even know what to say about that or what it's supposed to be, but that's just horrible. Faces, I like for the most part. It's like sketches on loose leaf paper, on uh, no paper. Like a, uh, Book, I got you know, a notebook, really for school. So that's kind of cool. The ace of spades is alright. Incidentally, that being said, talking about sketches and stuff like that, I remember when I was a kid a long, long time ago. I'm talking. We're talking well over 30 years ago when we still lived at the old place. I remember we had playing cards. I seen my parents made them. They were like out of cardboard, like cereal box cardboard or whatever. Hand designed, poor cards or whatever. Uh, and that was pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't remember, actually, I don't remember much about the art. I mean, if there was any art in the poor cards, I think it was just very typographic, if you will. Um, I don't really remember, but it was pretty cool. Pretty sure that was something my friends made for us. I don't remember. But this is just not my cup of tea. And it did take a while for it to fund, obviously. It's been a couple of days. So it's not that popular, I would say. Next day, I trumped up point guards. Make America Play Again by Liz Zeiser. It's in vain. 23% funded, 30 days to go. Uh, no. Uh, I don't want a deck of cards that has that face on it, or in it for that matter. I, I do like that <coughs> Trump is a joker, which he is, it's a joke. Let's not even get started in that debate, but this is a uh, $5,000 roll here. Um, Second, and with the people that Trump has fired, or people who quit before he fired them. <clears throat> I like how they made it sound like it's actually Trump speaking. <laughs> Maybe it is, who knows? Um, it's just not great. It's a fun deck. And then he invests people got fired or who quit. 
And there's a lot of them. A lot of people have been, Trump has fired more people than any other president, probably combined, I would guess. And not on top of that, so many people have quit because they don't want to lose in the next election. So I've all just said, screw it. And how can anyone support a president like that who's lost so many people? I don't know. But anyways, let's not get started with that. Um, not sure who's producing this one. I didn't see that information. It's a satirical deck, which is fine. Ten percent donation to DCCC. I don't know what DCC is. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Right. Well, that's not allowed. I'm gonna have to keep that one in mind. That's not allowed, obviously, on Kickstarter. So, moving along, let's talk about all the other projects we've already talked about. So, Paul Point Cards uh, by Mike Wolves and the Dog 318, designed by Randy Butterfield, Midnight Cards, is uh, well funded, 15 days to go. Mission Travels, quick start of Mission Travels by Team Travels, 8% funded, 4 days to go, not a chance in hell. Nebula by Philip Afferton, 90% funded, 23 days to go, not likely to fund. Boxing Race Point Cards by Kick Cards Cards it is 26% funded, 11 days to go. Don't think it's going to happen. Bicycle uh, Ball Dingo Point Cards by Comfortable Point Cards is funded, 18 days to go. Axolotl Point Cards by Sextante Studio is funded, 9 days to go. My apologies to them for any false allegations I made against them. Um, Oh, there's one here we missed, I forgot. Mers Point Cards, first edition by Zach Merzadin. Funded, 22 days to go. Pretty low goal, it would appear. By Illusionist Zach Merzadin. It's his first deck. Uh, not really liking the back design. Joker is okay for what it is. And similar faces are standard. Not sure who's producing it either because I don't share information. Being produced by a non profit. See. Yeah, I'm not really digging it. For a magician, you would think you'd design something a little bit more medicinal, medicine friendly. I guess it is medicine friendly with standard faces as far as I know, but that was my cup of tea. So, anyways, Magic M Line Art Deck by Modest 9% funded for 35 days ago. That's just not going to happen. Just might as well just end it. Uh, Mythical Creatures Point Guard by the Labyrinth, 95% funded for 4 days to go. That one should make it. Motormarks Cardistry Point Guard by Motormarks is funded 7 days to go. Anthology by Emmanuel Lotera is funded 11 days to go. Aphelion Black Edition by Carmel Point Guard is funded 7 days to go. The Violet Luna Moon and Astral Star Point Guards by Kevin Yu is well funded, almost 2000% funded with 14 days to go. They gotta be sold out by now. Nixie Point Guards as a king, still here, funded, three days to go. Uh, the Weed Deck by Van Barrett Forest is funded, 25 days to go. Silver Dragon Point Guards by Craig Maidment is funded, 17 days to go. Very well funded. Pretty well goal, I think. Hunters of Your Point Guards by Nikolai Arrow 
was funded 10 days ago. Stanbury Royal Point Cards by 64 Point Cards is funded 11 days ago. Master Series Club and Point Cards by Hand Lords, which I mentioned last week in an add on video, is well funded 23 days ago. Very well funded. I can't believe how well funded it's not my cup of tea. It doesn't have proper indexes, so I'm gonna save some money on that one and not get it. I like a deck of cards that has an actual index to it, so I can identify what it is in a fan or spread or whatever. The Bicycle Deluxe Point Cards from Elite Point Cards is also well funded, 18 days to go. Meme Point Cards, or Meme Point Cards, however you pronounce that word, I guess it's Meme. By Jordan somewhere, don't, don't hate me. <laughs> it is 7% funded, 10 days to go. I get the idea, obviously it's Meme. I don't know what that one came about. Uh, it's not looking good, that one. The losing point cards by Taddy Gomez is 87% funded, 8 days to go, still has a chance of funding. But we're not, does, who knows? Hyper Red point cards by Romarek Legrand, 58% funded, 19 days to go, still has a chance of funds. Solus and Noctis point cards by Ascension point cards, 9% funded, 27 days to go. Don't think it's gonna happen. Serious point cards by Serious point cards. 39% funded, 14 days to go, it's not looking good. The Deplorable Deck by Momus LLC, 50% funded, 15 days to go. So it's hats for that one, I guess, but it's not looking great. Innovators of Punk Point Cards by Sniffin Punk, 5% funded, 23 days to go, I don't think it's gonna make it. And is there anything else? Molotov Point Cards by Not My Real Name, I don't trust that at all. It's 42% funded, 17 days to go. So that is it for Kickstarter. I hope. I hope there won't be any more that slots in the next hour or two. But that is that. We'll see you next time with more. Comment, rate, subscribe.